as this exercise is concerned, we are going to see that there are so many things that we do need uh, to focus, to put into consideration. There are so many things that we do need to put in as much as this part is concerned. All right, so if we are to check, we are given some other we talked about the first part and so forth. So you're just gonna have a continuation where you see that there is a challenge. This question is actually challenging. Let me know on the comment section so that we'll be able to talk about those questions. I'm not gonna answer everything on this activity. You make sure that you do those. We talked about this and listed these numbers, I uh, mean the laws that you're supposed to put into consideration and also to know that whenever you're simplifying, work with prime numbers, I talked about this. All right. I want us to see what we are given on number 10. On number 10, we are given to simplify, that is 162 over two to the exponent of three over four. So don't be worried about this presentation that you are given here. 162 over two is equivalent to what? So if we had to divide this, this is simply 81. So that is 81 to the exponent of three over four. So remember what I say, they do not want you to use a calculator. So what you do is that you express this number in simplest form, and the simplest form is to have it as a prime number, which is any of these prime numbers. So 81 can be written as a three being raised to the exponent of a four. So if that can replace the 81, that means in place of 81, I'm going to write three, to the exponent of four being raised to the exponent of three over four, which is outside of the bracket. Not forgetting that an exponent to an exponent, you are going to multiply these exponents together, m times n, which is mn under the same x that we had before. So that means here we are going to multiply the exponent to the exponent four times three over four. And this is gonna give us a three. So there we are left with three, to the exponent of a three, meaning to say three times three times a three, which is simply a 27. So this is how we can simplify any given question. Whether these are algebraic expressions or not, we are going to apply the same thing. On number 11, we have got the same situation on number 11, which is the square root of x to the exponent of one over two, times y to the exponent of one over two. Not forgetting this law that if we are given two terms or maybe there are so many terms, whatever number of terms that you're given being raised to a certain exponent, everything will be affected by that exponent that is inside of the bracket. So meaning to say, if we are to write this as a bracket, we are going to have this as to the exponent of a half. So this is same as we've got x to the exponent of half times y to the exponent of half, everything being raised to the exponent of one over two. Remember the concept of the square root. There is a two inside of the square root. So each and every part that we have here is going to be affected to the exponent of one over two. So what does it mean? It means we've got x to the exponent of one over two to the exponent of one over two, which is same as you're multiplying by one over two y to the exponent of one over two, multiply to one over two, an exponent to an exponent. So this is going to give us x to the exponent of one over four, multiply to y to the exponent of one over four, if we multiply an exponent to an exponent. So what does it this part mean? We're done. That is what you can have your answer as, or you can have this as the fourth root of x. This is the same as the fourth root of x times the fourth root of y. These can be given or can be written under the same root sign, which is the fourth root of xy. So it's one and the same thing as you can also write as xy to the exponent of one over, which is this part. So you can even leave your answer at this stage, which is fine. So this is what they are simply testing you all on these questions that you are going to see on this activity. Considering also on number 18, we have got a similar condition on number 18 where we are given uh, that is the cube root of the square root of, which is x to the exponent of 30, y to the exponent of 36. Everything that we are given is x to the exponent of 4, b to the exponent of a 5. 
That's what we are given. So meaning to say in this case, remember the cube root, this part of the cube root means to the exponent of one over three. The square root means to the exponent of one over two. So it simply means this part that we are given there of x to the exponent of a 30, y to the exponent of 36. The first thing is to get rid of this square root that we are seeing. So how can we get rid of this square root that we are seeing here? The square root is same as to the exponent of one over two. And after that, how do we get rid of the cube root? The cube root is same as to the exponent of one over three. Everything ever over x to the exponent of four, b to the exponent of a five. So this was a b, let's just hope so. All right, no problem. So in this case, there is an exponent and an exponent. So these two can multiply each other one over two times one over three, which is gonna give you one over six from your calculator. So that's x to the exponent of a 30, y to the exponent of a 36, everything being raised to the exponent of one over six. And thus x to the exponent of four, b to the exponent of a five. So each and every stage, be careful in your simplification. From this part, we are going to see that this one over six must expand each and every term inside. Remember, if there are terms inside a bracket and there's an exponent, the exponent is gonna affect each and every part. So thus we've got x to the exponent of a 30 being raised to the exponent of one over six. So you're simply multiplying 30 times one over six and 30 times one over six, that's a five. So that's x to the exponent of five times 36 times one over six, that's a six. Everything that we are given is gonna be over x to the exponent of four, b to the exponent of a five. So this was actually a mistake, but let's just write as it is in terms of a b. So if we are to consider this, we are dividing the bases which are the same. So what are we going to do on this part of x? We are simply going to subtract, that's x to the exponent of five minus four, which is x. So meaning to say we are left with x, times y to the exponent of a six over b to the exponent of a five. And on this case, there's nothing that we can do. There's nothing that we can do. So these are the typical questions that you are going to be given in your syllabus. All you just need is to make sure that your laws are being applied properly up to the last stage of your simplification. All right, so like I said, I'm not gonna answer all these questions that we are seeing here. I just want you guys to try as many questions as we can. Number 19, we were given, this is 25, whatever that you have there, so you can even apply the laws of our exponents. All right, so these numbers, all numbers don't even worry guys, when they are numbers like this. All right, you can write this as five to the exponent over two, but you can even divide when it is like that, okay? So meaning to say this was going to be written as five to the exponent of two, a to the exponent of four, four, b to the exponent of a six, everything over five, a to the exponent of five, b to the exponent of a nine times one over this. So this is same as one. It was supposed to be like this. It was supposed to be like this, one over this 125. So 125 is, is actually five to the exponent of a three, a to the exponent of minus three, b to the exponent of minus seven. So you can even write it like that, which is fine. I'm not worried about this, but let's just leave it like that so that we do not have confusion because I'll end up uh, confusing you guys. So let's just write as it is, five to the exponent of three, a to the exponent of minus three, b to the exponent of minus seven, just like that, all right? So if you had to consider this part of the numerator, there's nothing that it can happen. Uh, you're multiplying by one, so everything is just gonna remain as it is five to the exponent of two, a to the exponent of four, b to the exponent of a six. Everything over in the denominator, what is happening? You are multiplying the bases which are the same, five to the exponent of one, five to the exponent of three, we're gonna add the exponents. One plus three, that is a four. So that's five to the exponent of four, you move on to the A, you're multiplying the bases, which are the same. So what are you going to do? Add the exponent again, five plus minus three. And that is gonna give us a two. So that's, we've got A to the exponent of two, the same thing on the B, this is B to the exponent of nine, multiply to B to the exponent of a negative seven. So you add a negative seven, and that was gonna be B to the exponent of a two. So with these laws, we can simplify any question any question.
So from this part, we are going to see that, all right, there are some laws to be applied here. 5 to the exponent of 2 over 5 to the exponent of 4, you're dividing this time the bases that are the same. So meaning to say you're going to subtract the exponents. So that's 5 to the exponent of 2 minus 4, which is minus 2, actually. So that's 5 to the exponent of negative 2. The part of A also is the same. This part of A, you are dividing. You subtract your exponents 4 minus 2, which is a 2. The part of B, again, 6 minus 2, which is a 4. So meaning to say we can simplify this 1 over 25 for 5 to the exponent of minus 2. This is 1 over 25 which is multiplying a squared b to the power of 4 everything over 1. So it simply means we can write this as a squared b to the power of 4 over 25 times 1, which is a 25. So what is important is that your answers should be written as positive exponents and written as positive exponents if you can simplify as far as you can. Make sure that you do so. Make sure that you do so. These are the typical questions that you're going to have in your syllabus, like I said before. So these are the typical questions. You just have to make sure, make sure that you do as much questions as you can. So I want you to try this one, this exponent of zero, this one, because I think it's direct. Anything to the exponent of a zero, that's a one, times the square root of 49, the seven, to the exponent of a two, to the exponent of one over two, times seven to the exponent of negative one. So that's one times, here you multiply two times one over two, that's seven to the exponent of one times seven to the exponent of negative one. Multiplying the bases that are the same, you add the exponents one plus minus one, that is gonna be seven to the exponent of a zero, which is a one, just like that. So as you can see, it's just nothing this, it's just nothing guys, just nothing. You just have to work with more questions. All right, the last part that you're gonna have is question number 21, where we are given the square root of a to the exponent of a four. So this is the square root of a to the exponent of four, y to the exponent of eight, everything over the cube root of a to the exponent of nine, y to the exponent of a 12. So this is what you have, and you need to apply the laws of exponents. Remember what I say, to the exponent of a half, whenever you are dealing with a square root, if just a square root like that, it means everything that we are given there is being raised to the exponent of one over two. And for a cube root, it means everything that we have there is being raised to the exponent of one over three. That is the cube root. Everything is raised to the exponent of one over three. But not forgetting that once there's an exponent outside of the bracket, each and every term is going to be raised to that same exponent. So that means a to the exponent of four is going to be raised to the exponent of one over two. That's an exponent to an exponent, which is gonna four, which is gonna be four times one over two, and that is a squared. So meaning to say you are simply multiplying eight times one over two, which is a four. The same thing here, nine times one over three, which is simply a three. 12 times one over three, which is a four. So this is the idea there. There is an exponent, there's another exponent outside of the bracket, but each and every term is being raised to that same exponent. Using our laws of exponents, we are dividing the bases that are the same, the part of A, so you are going to subtract the exponents. That's two minus three, which is minus one. The same part of y, that's four minus four, which is a zero. Any number, when it is being raised to the exponent of a zero, that's a one. So meaning to say you are left with a to the exponent of negative one, which is same as one over a. So each and every part that you are given, you are supposed to be very careful. How you simplify, how you apply your laws, everything, it is all about the laws that you have the laws of exponents. So there are so many questions in this exercise that you can put a try on where there is a challenge. Let me know on the comment section so that we can work that same question on the next class that you're gonna have. But for now, that's it. Till we meet again.